I'm going to say the same thing to start this video off as I said to start off yesterday's video on the Red Wings win over the Senators. I'm not going to do these after every single Red Wings game this season. That being said, you're getting another recap video tonight because it was another very newsworthy Red Wings game as the Detroit Red Wings defeat the Calgary Flames by a final score of 6-2. to Obviously, the biggest story for the Red Wings early on this season has been Alex Dabrinkit and his horrid start to his career with the Red Wings. And tonight against the Calgary Flames was no different as Alex Dabrinkit finished the game with a hat trick, also picked up an assist. He now leads the NHL in goals with 8 and points with 12. He would open up scoring in this game relatively quickly, about 2 minutes in, giving the Red Wings a 1-0 lead off of a nice find from Justin Hall, which came from a nice pinch from him. He pinched up, got the puck, wheeled behind the net, and found Dabrinkit out front. The Justin Hall signing in the offseason was one that I was very critical of, but I won't lie, early on in the season, he has been quietly very solid for the Red Wings. He actually leads the entire NHL in plus-minus right now. The whole rotation thing that Derek Lalonde has got going on with the likes of Petrie, Justin Hall, and Ole Mata right now is working very well, you know, rotating those guys in and out of the lineup, playing with 7D on some nights. It's keeping all three of those guys fresh. Jeff Petrie was the one who served as a healthy scratch tonight. Derek Lalonde said it was a maintenance day for him, so I'm sure we'll see Jeff Petrie back in the lineup in the Red Wings next game against the Seattle Kraken on Tuesday, and maybe we see Ole Mata as the scratch for that game, or the Red Wings roll with 7D. I don't think we see Justin Hall scratched after this performance tonight where he had three assists, but I'm liking what I'm seeing when it comes to that whole rotation they got going on. The Red Wings entered the first intermission with a 2-0 lead, but Vladar made some massive saves on the penalty kill to finish out that first period. It easily could have been 3 or 4 nothing for the Red Wings going into the first intermission, so I was a little bit concerned that maybe that would come back to bite the Red Wings, that they didn't convert on those opportunities and were only up 2 nothing heading into the intermission, and Calgary definitely came out flying in the second period. They had some great chances early on, but just two minutes into the second period, Dylan Larkin would score off of a beautiful cross ice pass from Alex Dabrinkit and it was an absolute snipe by Dylan Larkin short side bar down that connection between Dabrinkit and Larkin is just magic for the Red Wings right now cannot say enough good things about how those two are playing and how they're clicking together that entire line too Lucas Raymond was very good tonight he had three assists and it was kind of a theme tonight where every time the Calgary Flames showed some fight and it looked like they were going to start to come climbing back into this game the Red Wings would turn it up the other way and convert on a chance and then just really halt that Calgary Flames momentum it happened here with the Dylan Larkin goal, and it would happen again later on in the second period as Andrew Mangiapane scored to cut the Red Wings' lead to two. It was three to one, a little over halfway through the second period, but Alex Debricka would score a little over a minute after that Mangiapane goal off of a very nice play from Raymond and Larkin. Sharon Govich would cut the Red Wings' lead back down to two late in the second period, so we went into the second intermission for two Red Wings, and the Flames did come out looking really good to start the third period, similar to how they started the second, but thanks to a couple of quick goals from Walman and Alex Dabrinkit's hat trick that would put this game at a reach. Final score 6 2 Red Wings as they improve to 5 1 0 on the season. They are absolutely piping hot early on. The offense is clicking on all cylinders. The thing that impressed me most about the Red Wings in this game is the fact that all six of their goals came at even strength. The Red Wings entered this game with the number one ranked power play in the league. It was such a big reason as to why the Red Wings were 4 1 heading into this game. It obviously played a massive factor in them beating the Ottawa Senators yesterday. But tonight, the power play was 0 for 5, and they did all of their damage at even strength, which was really nice to see. Like I mentioned earlier, that top line is just on another level right now. One of the biggest criticisms a lot of people have about where the Red Wings rebuild is at is the lack of a true superstar on this roster. Well, right now, you have Alex Dabrinkit and Dylan Larkin both playing like bona fide superstars. They are 1-2 and two in NHL scoring right now. Dabrinkit's 8 goals through 6 games is the most in Red Wings history by a player through their first 6 games with the team. Now, I know I'm going to get a lot of comments saying, well, it's just six games in. This isn't sustainable. And listen, I know that the pace those two are scoring at right now is unsustainable. The pace the Red Wings are scoring at right now is unsustainable. Their shooting percentages are going to come down. But the fact that Dabrinkit and Larkin are already clicking like this and putting up these kinds of numbers after just six games together is an amazing sign. So here are the final stats of the game. I had somebody request for me to do this in the comments of yesterday's video. The play at 5-5 five five in this game was relatively even. It wasn't completely dominant dominated by the Red Wings, even though the score was 6-2. The story of this game was the fact that the Red Wings were just a lot more opportunistic than the Calgary Flames were able to convert on their chances, and James Reimer definitely had a much better game than Dan Fladar. If you guys are enjoying these game recaps, let me know down below in the comments. I have kind of an idea in my head that I want to do, that I want to run by you guys. I've been really enjoying doing game recaps a lot more than I thought I would, so my idea is maybe doing one of these a day, and I'll put polls up on the community tab each day, and you guys can vote.
out on which game you want me to recap. And I know I'll get a lot of questions. Am I still going to do my usual videos? You know, the lists and stuff like that. To ask me anything. The interactive videos. Yes, I will. It won't take away from that at all. So let me know down below in the comments if that's something that you guys want to see. Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. I'll talk to you all again soon.